Good morning people and welcome to today's vlog. Today is a nice rainy Wednesday in England and it's been a while since I've done a video so I thought today I would do a very generic um, style vlog of just a, a general day of what I do. It's now 8.08, .08. I was awake at around 6.30, I've been walked, got a coffee and now we are on the way to the gym. I'm training with my friend Joe, BYB coach, and you may have seen on Instagram. I apologize about the, the camera shaking. And yeah, we're gonna go and crush a workout. I'm not sure how many clips I'll get in the gym. It's quite a intimidating environment to just be whipping the camera out, but we'll see. Any of the Instagram followers may have noticed I've been doing a bit more gym stuff on Instagram. Uh, the whole idea of doing YouTube, like when I started it, was to kind of build a bit more of a audience into other things, just the music, so in the future, who knows, I'm not purely relying on just growing an audience from DJing, so I thought, fuck it, why not share some more on Instagram, training's a big part of my life, always has been, I really enjoy lifting weights and running and, and all sorts. The recent changes to my training have been, I'm listening to rock music, um, Nirvana, Foo Fighters, Red Hot Chili Peppers, one of they're not really rock, but to be fair, I don't know if you'd class any of as rock, but to me it's rock and I bought some Metcon 7's night training truck shoes and they've just changed my vibe in the gym. I've been fucking going for it a good hour every time, finishing with some intense um, circuits, cardio, kind of CrossFit things and stronger than I've ever been before. So all in all, good. I'm eating a lot of food though as well. Probably not really leaned out like I would hoped, but feeling good, eating to train, training to eat. I'll try and get some clips in the gym and make today a slightly interesting day for you all. So guys, breakfast time now, nice and simple. We have got bacon medallions, which is the bacon with no fat on, um, three pieces of toast, but it's like 60 calorie wub and brown toast, so it's equivalent of like two normal slices of toast. And then two eggs. My plan is to make this into a sandwich, then just eat that on its own. No butter, keeping it lean. That's what I have most days. Sometimes I'll go and eat it out. Um, but yeah, probably my favorite meal of the day, breakfast, and then I will drink this coffee, which then give me the fuel to plan what he's doing today, and then I will then go and execute the plan while the coffee hits. It's a bit of a life hack, and I'm practicing this week two hours post-breakfast of no phones, deep work, Cal Newport style. I'd recommend reading Cal Newport's deep work um, if you want to start being better at time management and really getting stuck into your work. Today's agenda is record some new content for Synth though. So I'm gonna write the plan for the videos and then go and record them. And then that'll take me to about lunchtime then. So I will probably be back in front of this camera in a couple of hours. We are done for the first part of the day. It's now 11.30, took me about an hour to plan that and record that video. I've already banged up the previews on Instagram. Very efficient, if I do say so myself. In today's video, guys, I'm showing you some basic yet very effective tips to make your drums sound 10 times better. I'm getting sent a lot of incredible music at the moment, but I feel like a lot of them are missing a bit of life and character in the drum section. I've got to say, the synth work from a lot of the music I'm hearing is incredible, but with a bit more detail and a bit more thought in the drums, I think there will be some serious bangers getting made. So in this video, I've really identified some of the mistakes that I'm seeing in people's tracks and just some of the things they're missing I'm putting them into a 30 minute video to help take your grooves to another level. Now I have got to do the last bits of a remix for Politics of Dancing, which is a label which I actually used to be obsessed with back in the day when they did the pod edits groove and all that. So it's quite an honor to be asked to do a remix for them. And it's for Tom Vicari Jr., if I pronounce it correctly. 
and I'm basically now trying to do the finishing touch to the track. It sounds really good. I'm on day three now working on it, which is quite long for me to work on a track, but it's getting there. It now probably requires, I reckon, an hour or two of deep work on it with no distractions. It just needs all the effects doing and a bit of finessing, maybe a little magic sprinkle of a lead on top. But if we can get this done, that was a very, very productive day, that, in the, uh, the Big Brother house. So I'll maybe see you again at lunchtime. Well, I think I'll get a coffee at lunch today and go for some fresh air. Let's see how we get on. This is the reality. I'll just go from laptop, maybe out there, to the studio in here. I was literally where I just ate my breakfast. My studio is just next to it. Let me get back to work, and I will catch you in a bit. So, guys, it's now 1.35. I've had a tough ride on that remix. In the end... I have redone all the drums. Originally, I used 808s, so it's kind of like a bit of a stripped back dubby kind of vibe. And then the label, it is more housey and more pumping, so to speak. So I changed loaders of drum sounds to 909s. Now the track sounds really different in the background. It's really cool. But now, because I've got 909 on the drums, I feel like it needs more synths before these deep chords and stuff carried the tune. Whereas now, it's more rolling. It kind of feels a bit UK tech housey. So I think it would work stripped back, if I think in that sense. But part of me always wants to add more synths, but maybe it just needs mixing well and then some more automation on the synths. But it's half one now, and... In theory, I've done probably more than I would have thought I would have got done by this time. I may go for a walk and enjoy some fresh air. It's a nice day outside, I think. But yeah, yeah, I, th I thought this would take longer than it did. But what there is like three and a half hours of fairly uh, intense work. And I reckon I could do a bit of a break. Part of me thinks I should go and prepare some tunes for the weekend but maybe i will get an audiobook on and go for a nice walk in the open air and then see how we feel this afternoon so i went for a short walk guys funnily enough i got super knackered actually um i think the hard training this morning and the intense few hours of work mentally fatigued me a bit so i just laid on my bed for like half an hour i was gonna call it a day but i'm gonna just do a little jam i've been listening to this dj mazda mix from dimensions and it's fucking sick like so there's a track in here I really like I'm going to jam out some drums on this that sound similarish to it and just see what happens not really any pressure the day is what I would consider complete in terms of what needs to be delivered now I can just have some fun so I'll maybe leave you playing and recording and if it makes me good you'll see me in the flow So guys, that is the studio done. It's 5 p.m. That was actually kind of productive. Got um, a nice loop down. Very bass-driven, alien kind of techno grooves. But yeah, I'm exhausted now. I'm exhausted. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to spend my evening having a nice dinner. And probably going to listen to some records because the weekend's fast approaching. And next weekend, I've got two gigs. You and me and Paris. This weekend, I've got one. So this weekend's going to really team me up for next weekend. So it's a good idea to be prepared for this one as if it's going to be the main event next weekend because next weekend is probably the biggest gigging weekend so far. Well, no, Halloween was big. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Just a basic day in the life, I guess. And the cat's climbing across my equipment, which isn't good.
Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. If there's any more video requests, uh, I'm back on the YouTube thing. I'll see you very soon.